One of the most nerve-wracking performances of John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr was their appearance at the Royal Variety Show in 1963. As their fame grew, they unexpectedly found themselves playing before a sizable, affluent crowd. Lennon used his stage fright to crack jokes with the crowd. When Lennon performed certain parts, Harrison rolled his eyes. The Beatles were apprehensive about performing at the Royal Variety Show. The Queen Mother was present, and every member of the audience had purchased pricey tickets. When introducing the band's last song, Lennon made a point of highlighting their affluence. According to the Beatles' anthology, he remarked, I'd like to ask your help for our last number. Those occupying the less expensive seats applaud your hands, and everyone else would too, if you would simply jangle your jewelry. We want to perform the song Twist and Shout. Harrison didn't find this to be as endearing or spontaneous as the audience did. In addition, he rolled his eyes at Lennon's forced bow at the conclusion of the performance. They had never done anything like that before. Because everyone in the audience was apparently wealthy, John performed the line about rattle your jewelry, Harrison claimed. I believe he had given it some thought as to what he could say. It wasn't, in my opinion, impulsive. As a joke, John also overdone the Boeing because we didn't used to think it was a showbiz thing. Given his frazzled nerves, Lennon acknowledged that the joke was the best he could manage at the moment. Everyone is tense and anxious, and nobody works very well. I made a joke on stage the time we actually did it, he remarked. I wanted to say something to rebel a little bit, and that was the best I could do, the extremely anxious person said. Neil Aspinall, the road manager, recalls how anxious every Beatles member was before the show. I recall that during the Royal Command performance, they were incredibly anxious as they were not accustomed to such a large crowd," he remarked. This was a large charity event that everyone had paid a lot of money to attend. This wasn't the cavern. There was an entirely new group of individuals sitting in judgment. Harrison was a little more grateful at later performances when Lennon veered into exaggerated behavior. Harrison was laughing so much that he was unable to play during Lennon's ridiculous rendition of Jerry Lee Lewis during their concert at Shea Stadium. He remarked, I was putting my foot on it and George couldn't stop laughing. I was just having fun with it. The children were unaware of my actions. I chose to play the organ live for the first time since I performed it on I'm Down. I was leaping around and playing only two bars of Jerry Lee because I didn't really know what to do and I felt naked without a guitar. Starr wasn't as fond of Lennon's actions. You can see how we responded to the location if you watch the film footage, he remarked. It was enormous and peculiar. I think John broke down on that show. He became insane. He wasn't mentally sick, but he lost his mind. It seemed pretty weird that he was using his elbows to play the piano 